Good evening. Is it provocative promotion or abusive language? That's what a judge will decide tomorrow as the friend of a local comedian goes to court facing charges after he asked people if they wanted to, and these are his words, laugh at the crippled girl. Nine News reporter Bryce Onslinger is in the newsroom now with why the pair says the charges should be dismissed. Bryce? Well, Brendan and Carol, the statement certainly gets your attention. And when a party in the park organizer was asked if they wanted to laugh at the crippled girl, they called police. Now the man that asked the question is facing charges. Give it up for Allie Bruner! <laughs> Allie Bruner started her comedy career about a year and a half ago. I want to be able to use my comedy to open the door for conversation and get people to let their guard down and be comfortable with it. You guys having fun yet? Yeah! Well, you're about to have some more. Her comedy is based on her life, and for most of her life, she's suffered from muscular dystrophy. She's performed at clubs all over the tri state, but she says building a following is difficult. Bruner and her friend Forrest Tomer were at Party in the Park last week trying to promote her comedy. Tomer says he would ask a group of people if they wanted to laugh at the crippled girl. After the shock wore off, Bruner would roll up and tell a joke. One person, it turned out I guess to be the event coordinator, was offended, um, called the police on us. Police said that we needed to uh, leave. I asked why. Next thing you know, police officers grabbing me. Uh, I break my camera. Officers threatening to tase me. Tomer was charged with disorderly conduct. The citation says he was using grossly abusive language, walking into people and shouting obscenities at them. A claim Tomer and Bruner deny. I use my cleaner material uh, with no, you know, raunchy language or anything like that. So, you know, the, there were no, you know, nothing I consider an obscenity. And Tomer is scheduled to be in court tomorrow at 9 in the morning. He says he hopes the charges are dismissed. To sample more of Bruner's comedy, head to WCPO.com. Brendan? Bryce Onslinger, thanks.